Hi guys. What I want to go over today is what's called optical zero. I'm going to show you guys a way to achieve it very quickly using a mirror. Uh, and I also want to go over what it is and when to use it. So uh, to get right to how to do it, um, I'll put down whatever minutes you need to skip to. Um, but what it is, is it has to do with the internals of the scope. It's got to do with the optics, the reticle, and how everything is lined up. If you've got your vertical turret cranked all the way, you are far from optical zero. <laughs> and um, the best place, the most, if you want to look at it as the healthiest place, mechanically and optically, for your scope to be in, is at optical zero. So the closer you can stay to that, the better. Now, who's going to use it? Uh, basically, if you're using these type of scope mounts, um, these uh, fixed ones with no adjustments, it's not really going to play into you because you can't, no matter what, you're going to have to adjust your scope to hit your point of impact. Uh, this comes in handy when you've got adjustable mounts, you're shooting a very long range, and you've run out of turret. You know, you've, you've just run out or you're very close to that edge and you just you want to come back to zero a little bit, you're going to end up taking your scope on your rifle and just tilting it a little bit to find that far uh, point of impact. So like I said, you'll need some adjustable scope mounts. Um, these ones are FX no limits. They work very well and they're very easy to use. I've also got some Eagle Vision uh, adjustable scope mounts as well as some sports match. So that's the basics of it. Now let's go over to how to do this. A very easy way to find optical zero is to have a, a mirror. That's really all you need. Um, take your scope off your rifle. Doesn't have to have scope mounts on or anything, just a blank scope. And you hold it flat against the mirror. Look through, make your adjustments, and, you're, and you have just found optical zero. What you're looking for is two reticles, okay, two crosshairs. And if, if you only see one, start making adjustments, and you'll see the other one come in. It will be a shadow. And what you want to do is you want to line up both crosshairs until they're perfectly in line with one another. Now, you don't have to go out and buy a mirror. Um, just go into your bathroom. Uh, you've probably got a mirror on the wall. Put your scope gently up against there and hold it so it doesn't wobble around at all. You need it to be perfectly flat against that glass. Just hold it up against there, find your sight, and make your adjustments. Uh, it also helps to be zoomed out all the way. And your focus doesn't really matter because it doesn't you won't be in focus. So let's uh I'll, uh, I'll set this up so you guys can see exactly what you're looking at in the mirror, and we'll go from there. So I've got my scope cam set up on my Hawk TMX. My mirror's on the floor. Um, what you guys are seeing here is the, um, the standard reticle, what you'll see when you look through the scope. I put it down on the mirror, you're not going to see anything, because there's just not enough light. Um, one of my uh, YouTube viewers actually sent me a tip. He said, hey, why don't you turn on the illumination? This is something that never even dawned on me because I don't use illumination. I, I don't use it so much that I pull the batteries out. So uh, here's what you'll see with illumination. It helps tremendously. <laughs> so you can see I've got the standard reticle. That's the one that's pointing downward. Okay, and then I've got the shadow. All I'm going to do, twist my turret. Until it lines up, until I get both reticles perfectly in line. That's it. You've just found optical zero. It's really that easy. So that's how easy finding optical zero is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. As always, happy shooting.